What's up everyone, how's it going? In this game, we have Bit Cousin as our orange Zushi Legacy player. Going straight for the wood, which means he's most likely going to be going for, as usual, a mill, of course. But, after that, he might be going for the village, depending on how much wood he actually gathers. It looks like he's going to be just getting enough for the village itself. And then on the east side, we have Vanderdorf playing as the Aobids. Aobids are fun to watch. Yeah, let's go with fun to watch, annoying to play against. Their casino did get nerfed a little bit. They no longer get villagers from their trade bazaar. So their eco boom in feudal isn't as high roll. Let's put it that way. Because they were able to get traders and villagers, uh, yeah, traders and villagers out of the bazaar at the same time if they got lucky enough. So you could potentially get, I think it was four villagers. I can't remember exactly what the tournament was with Beastie versus, I think it was Marine Lord during the EGC TV tournament. Marine Lord ended up getting four villagers and three traders from the bazaar right on age up. So he went from whatever it was like 20 something to almost 30 uh, eco units in a split second. I, that was just absolutely insane. Yeah. And the trade distance was uh, was significant too. It was a decent amount of trade. I think it was about 35-ish uh, per trip. So out of the whole trip, it would get... He would be getting about 70 gold per trader times three, 210 gold right there. Plus the four villagers that he got as well. It was absolutely insane. They did get rid of that though. That was pre-patch obviously. And now they are unable to get any villagers from Trade Wing Bazaar. If I do miss the age up, I do apologize. Because it does not give us a notification on the Observer UI for the Aobids when they are aging up. So if you see me go back, click on the House of Wisdom every so often, that's going to be why. I don't want to miss the age up. I don't want to miss what they're going to be going for. And as I say that, age up is coming through for Vanderdorf, our French player playing as the Aobids. French, uh, French player in real life. In-game, Aobids, economic wing, growth, coming through. It's going to give him three villagers and 50 additional food. Or orchards give an additional 50 food. So when he puts his mill down and it turns the berries into orchards, instead of, uh, I think it's already 50, it increases each one by 50. It'll be increasing it by 100. Let's double check that. Oh, so it increases it from 100 to 150. So that'll be 400 food per berry bush. That's a lot of berries. That's a lot of food. Over here, we do have the Meditation Garden coming through for our Zushi Dynasty or Zushi Legacy as well. That's going to be a lot of passive food. He's going to be getting stone and a lot of passive wood. This is an extremely good spot. Uh, it could have been better, though. He could have got both the stone really easily. He would have missed out on a little bit of wood, but... I would rather have the stone over the wood. If he moved this over a square, let's see. Can I click both of these at the same time? No, I cannot. But if you notice, it's just a hair away from the stone. So if he put it over a little bit, he would have been able to get both stone, all of the berry bushes. He already has all the berry bushes. But it would have been, in addition to everything he has, plus more stone. And the stone, I think, is 30 per minute. So he would be getting 60 stone per minute. That'd be really, really good for him to go up to 3 TC. He is going to be going up to a second TC for sure. Oh, excuse me. Well, I say for sure. It looks like he's probably going to be... It's not going to be a fast castle. That, That's a given. Archery range coming down for the Chukunu. Let's see, what are you giving us? 70 food. Okay. We'll check back there, see what the max numbers are. I can't remember how many it is per berry bush. 
nothing too spectacular coming out over here since he did go for the eco economic wing growth he is going to be currently up villagers until we see a potential second or third tc coming down for our zushi player i am hearing chukanu popping out though two already out on the field third one it is getting supervised so these chukanu are gonna get just printed out seven seconds six seconds per chukanu currently sitting at four now the rally uh he does have it a little miss rallied there it goes he does change the rally point on his archery range and for aobids or our aobid player one stables and that one stables has one horseman second one just popped out so two horsemen against eight chukunu and now the chukunus are on the gold line he is a vendedorf is attempting to try to get this outpost up as quickly as possible he will lose a single villager one horseman does get one chukunu kill second one is going to be pretty low going to be unable to get that does get a villager in the back at the gold with his other horseman outpost gets cancelled and now vanderdorf has been pushed off his gold he does have a slightly safe one i guess in the back he needs to go for that right now drop an outpost and his mining camp if he does want to be able to keep that up horseman in the back of vendor or excuse me of bit cousins base just being a slight annoyance is forcing some of the chukunu rally to be set at home instead of pushing across which is purely beneficial obviously for vanderdorf the fewer chukunu there the better because it does buy him a little bit of time another little harassment coming through shot goes off on the t from the tc onto the horseman second one will be hitting potential third one as well yeah horseman's down to 31 out of 125 and we have 11 chukunu already chilling in front of uh, Vanderdorf's base a total of 21 Chukunu on the field against five horsemen and it looks like these horsemen are just gonna either go straight into bit cousins base or they're gonna attempt to get rid of some of the reinforcements coming through it does like they're gonna does look like they're gonna go into the reinforcement line blacksmith coming down for our Zushi dynasty player but there's a lot of Chukunu back here still. There's nine total with no more actually coming through. One Chukunu does get picked off. And now they are rallying up 21 total. Four more in queue coming out of a single supervised archery range. Blacksmith coming through for Vanderdorf as well. He's going to be getting the plus one. Uh, I would think the plus one attack just to try to kill them a little bit faster and because horsemen do have plus two ranged already so the chukunu themselves are doing two damage a pop so if he gets the ranged armor though they'd only be doing one damage it'd be negating half of their attack one damage a pop is absolutely insane and we do have uh, I, they're not really going to be trying to kill this more than anything they're just reducing the numbers Quite severely too another little run by coming through for vanderdorf picks off a total of two villagers that is a lot of chukunu 22 chukunu total for him and he's trying to get another outpost up he needed to do this way way earlier chukunu are focusing down the blacksmith age up ah i'm so sorry for missing that guy it's Ajub does come through for our Aobits player. I'm not entirely military. So he ended up getting Culture Wing. So it looks like he just went for Culture Wing advancement in order to get the Castle Age through a lot faster. It does reduce the Age Up time by 40%. And also Age Up cost. I think it's by like 250, 350 resources, something like that. Oh, okay. The plus one ranged armor does come through before the Chukunu are able to kill it. We should see some Camel Lancers coming out as well. First one is out. And now the Chukunu Rush is going to... Is essentially... Severely... Uh, in a deficit because of the armored units that will be coming out for our Aobid player. And 
market is coming through as well in order to try to switch over some of that food for gold that he is severely starved on. Let's see, what do we see? Some food did get spent, but I didn't see his gold come up. Oh, he traded it instantly went over into the Lancers. 37 Chukunu, one scout for Bit Cousin, our orange Byzantine, or orange Byzantine, our orange Zushi legacy player. As for Vanderdorf, he's sitting on five horsemen, four horsemen, one just died. Oh, a little bit of an attack coming through right here. L look at that. The Camel Lancer basically took no damage right there. He is sitting on five ranged armor. Obviously, they can't take zero, so they're forced to take at least one damage. And now we have Rams coming through for Bit Cousin. Oh, is this poor little, poor little scout's gonna go down? Oh, apparently not. Vanderdorf felt pity on him and it's allowing it to live for a few moments longer. Back at base for our Aobids. He's still sitting on two stables. That is it. And he's just gonna continuously make horsemen and camel lancers. In the back, he does lose his horse, uh, his horseman, and almost loses his scout charge does not come through do we have a barracks up yet no barracks so bit cousin is gonna just stay on the chukunu keep it supervised and says you know what i do not care that you have armored units i will win with nothing but chukunu with plus one chukunu and that's what he's gonna attempt to do once he finishes up uh, come on finish up your third ram bit cousin Bit cousin. Okay, so he's not gonna finish up his third ram and then attack. He's gonna have it at 99.99% and then attack with the two rams that he currently has. Vanderdorf does have six camel lancers total right now. He needs his entire military to push this uh push this back though. He can't just be bleeding units away like this because that's not gonna be enough to deal with this. He needs all of them at the same time, and the Chukunu actually just completely melt those Camel Lancers. He needs all his units. We have a Golem on the way as well. He, Vanderdorf is severely starved on food. He could grab those. He could grab the deer that are north of his base. It's kind of in a safe location. Villagers are getting pulled right now in order to defend against the Chukunu themselves. Seven military for Vanderdorf, 48 for Bit Cousin. The charge does go through onto those rams. Oh, it's he still has essentially two and a half rams. Oh, Vanderdorf, what are you doing? You donated three camel lancers for no reason. Those could have been massive right now, especially since he's only sitting on seven military. Three horsemen, two camel lancers, a golem. This isn't going to be enough to hold this. Wait, I... Okay, there it goes. I clicked on the town center, and it said it was a huntable deer. Not entirely sure what happened there. And now, Vanderdorf is pushing through, or attempting to push through. They're focusing down... No, the villagers need to kill the... What are you doing, Vanderdorf? Use your villagers to kill the, uh, the rams. The Chikanu Arch is going to be free firing on all your new units and they did end up picking off two horsemen and a golem while they were focusing down the ram. Two more camel, camel lancers are coming through though. And the Chukunu numbers are just dwindling like no tomorrow. They were taking so much damage from the TC. And now Bit Cousin is sitting on 22 Chukunu and falling quickly and Vanderdorf his numbers really aren't increasing whatsoever, but they're armored units, so he's able to tank long enough and trade out very, very cost-effectively for the most part. And the power of armored units just shows right there and reigns supreme. And now it's 14 military. All 14 of those units are Chukunu, 4-Bit Cousin. Vanderdorf is sitting on 9, 4 horsemen, Two camel lancers with two, excuse me, with four NQ, two golems, and his Devrish. Devrish? Dervish. Dervish. He need 
Vanderdorf does need to take those deer, though. He needs to take those deer quick before any other potential attack does come through. We have a lot of wood being, uh, being chopped up right now for Vanderdorf. I would love to see all 18 of these villagers get pulled over to the deers. There is a handful of villagers coming up here, most likely, yeah, to get these, to get this herd of deer in the most, not in the most northern, but in the northern part. And we have another fight breaking out right here in front of our Zushi Legacy players base. Bit Cousin does need to stutter step quite a bit in order to maximize the amount of damage that he is going to be able to do. Go under TC, get the additional damage from there as well. That was really good stutter step micro from our Zushi Legacy player. And his numbers, his his Jukunu numbers are getting up there again. But this time, Vanderdorf's numbers are getting exceedingly higher as well. Another two rams are getting placed for Bit Cousin. Vanderdorf was able to hold earlier with only seven units, essentially. He was he was losing units. It's not like seven units against 60 Chukunu was the only thing he had. He would lose a unit, a unit would pop out. He would lose a unit, a unit would pop out. Now imagine when he has double that, right? Double the amount of armored units in order to hold this. And that's basically what's going to be happening. He was able to hold with six or seven units. Now he's up to 13 more and more armored units will be popping out the dervish is also going into the back grabbing relics and now we have a fight about to break through and i have to freaking sneeze unfortunately give me one moment what a terrible timing and the attack is coming through now oh wrong way why okay a Wololo is going off in the back. There's nothing there, though. It's just to pull the villain. I mean, excuse me. Try to pull his attention away from the actual fight. More and more armored or more and more units are coming out for our Aabits player for Vanderdorf. The armored units are able to tank so much damage. And now the TC is able to free fire onto the Chukunu since the Rams have been killed. In the back of all of this, there are two horsemen killing off a few villagers. A total of 10 villager kills have went in the favor of Vanderdorf 3 for Bit Cousin. Keep in mind, Vanderdorf is in Castle Age while Bit Cousin is still in Feudal, which means the upgrades when uh, when Vanderdorf does get a little bit of breathing room and is finally able to get up to get those upgrades up and running, he will be able to get once he gets plus two melee attack. Those Chukunu are going to melt. The Lancers, the Camel Lancers don't really need any melee, or excuse me, any ranged armor. They're sitting on, I think it's like nine right now. And that's good enough. Just get the attack upgrades. As soon as Bit Cousin tries to push out again, your Camel Lancers will go in, completely devastate as much as they possibly can, taking very minimal amount of damage. There's a lot of outposts out here, and a second TC is coming through for Bit Cousin on the southwestern side of his base. Yeah, that's only going to be his, his second TC. Totally fine. I would have liked to see a second TC come through a lot earlier, though. Because at this rate, he would have had a massive, massive uh, economical lead with the amount of pressure that he was applying. And these two horsemen will be going down pretty quickly. Or or not. That was very, very slow response by Bit Cousin to put the villagers inside of the TC in order to add on the extra damage to those horsemen. One of them would have been able to go down if he was paying attention. Well, oh, are they going to be able to get any kills? Possibly not. No response still, though, because there is another attack coming through right here in the middle on the wood line. So there are going to be more and more villagers going down. And now these Camel Lancers are extremely tanky. There's a lot more of them. And these Chukunu are... It's taking forever for them to kill these units, even with TC fire. Both of the horsemen on the 
uh, southwestern side of the map, well, more western side of the map, have been taken out, but they did get a few villager kills as well. 60 Chukunu for pit, uh, Bit Cousin. We'll be going up against 10 Golems, 7 Camel Lancers, 7 Horsemen, and 2 Dervish. A Ram is coming through as well for our Aobids player. Not entirely sure where that Ram is. Or was it coming out of a Siege Workshop? Uh, I don't see a Siege Workshop. I also don't see where the Ram is whatsoever. A little bit of a counterattack coming through. Or not counterattack, a little bit more of harassment coming through with those Camel Lancers and Horsemen on the northern side of our... Zushi Legacy players base. Oh, the Rams are coming over here down south. They're going to try to snipe out the TC. A little bit of a hit squad. Two Rams, seven Golams, and a Camel Lancer. Oh, as well as Horsemen are going to be pushy. No, they're just going to let the Rams do their do their business. I don't think that's a good idea, Vanderdorf. There's villagers there. There's a lot of villagers there. They will be able to... Okay. Vendor's being a little indecisive at the moment. Surprising to see. Another attack will be coming through. 66 Chukunu and 4 Rams pushing into the base of our Aobid player. Charges are coming off. A lot of damage onto a couple of those Rams pretty instantly. But there are 4 Rams attempting to snipe down the town center. Of our Aobids, and now Vanderdorf does need to turn around, start focusing down those rams one at a time instead of dealing with those Chukunu. He does split off a couple of the horsemen in order to deal with them, and two, three, fourth ram is down as well. These horsemen did a lot of damage, plus the TC fire did a lot of damage onto those Chukunu. They whittled down the numbers quite a bit. GG gets called, games goes to Vanderdorf. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.